Hey guys, my name is Alfie, and uh, welcome to the A to Z guide of how to um, create levels using Super Meat Boy Level Editor. Now this comes free with Super Meat Boy, if you need to access it. Go to Steam, click on View at the top, then click Tools, and it should come up there. Just double click on it, it should open. So this is the screen that you're welcomed with when you join into the uh, editor. And now we're just going stra straight into it, there's no menus in this game. Uh, the only menus that really are are Save and Load, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to go create a new level for this tutorial, so I'm just going to click New. I'm going to leave the width and height exactly the same, click on forest and just click go. There we go, here's our new world. Not very impressive at the minute. If I push W, A, S and D, I can move the camera around and if I push Q, I zoom out, E zooms me in. Um, obviously I just move my cursor with the mouse. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about how to spawn Super Meat Boy in different places and about using tiles in the layer 4. If you don't know what layers are, I'll just give you a quick, uh, quick little guide now. At the bottom here, in the left hand corner, we have layers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to layer 8. I'm just going to select layer 4. This is the layer that Super Meat Boy is in, it's called the active layer. The only layers that Super Meat Boy is affected by are layers 3, 4 and 5. Layers 3 and 4 are called 4 and back tile general. Active tile is the one that he stands in, anything in 4 or back tile appears in front of or behind him, however they can still affect him. Okay, so, I'm going to select layer 4, then I'm going to select tiles. Now what I'm going to do, you see here in my cursor I have a tile. Tiles that make up the game, they make up pretty much every level, well, every level, fact. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to click, and that places down a tile. Really simple. Now when I push F1, which takes me into the player mode, I'm now playing a Super Meat Boy on the level that I'm creating. i jump up and pause it there by pushing F1 again. If I right click on these tiles, while holding a tile in my hand, it deletes all of them. See? Place them down like that, and then delete them. I'm going to put some tiles over here. Now what I want to do is I want to make Super Meat Boy spawn over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push B, there, and now when I push F1, he's not respawned, there we go. When I push F1, he spawns above these tiles. I'm going to push F1 again now. Actually, I'm going to jump up there. I'm going to delete all these tiles. Now if I scroll with the mouse wheel, it cycles through every single tile that's available in the forest palette, which is the palette I selected when I created this. Now there's a few different palettes, each of them representing the chapters in the game and you get different tiles depending on which palette you chose in the forest palette I get like things like dirt and wood and stone mainly so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna use let's just use this one I wanna change the shape of this, actually I'm gonna use one where it affects it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick this one now I'm gonna first off wanna change the shape of this tile to do that all I do is I hold shift and scroll Really simple. I want triangles, so I'm gonna, just going to put a triangle there. Now what I want to do is I want to turn it round so the triangle makes a little, you know, it matches it on the other side. In order to rotate a shape, or a tile, sorry, I hold control and then scroll. And there we go. I don't know what I'm doing at the minute. There we go, that will do. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. Now... Such as the physics of Super Meat Boy, he will not slide off the edge, which is amazing. Um, hang on, let's just jump up again. There's plenty of other shapes you can choose from. I think there's actually just four shapes. There's the basic square. Hang on, I'm going to turn it around back to the normal rotation. There's the basic square. There's the rectangle. Big triangle, small triangle. Now what you will notice, so I'm going to put some rectangles down there. Then I'm going to turn that one up and place it there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the triangles and put the triangles along there. As I walk across... You see, I cannot fall down the gaps in between these. However, I can fall down in in on the gaps in between the small triangles. That's just a random thing. I don't know why it is. The triangles don't really affect Super Meat Boy in any way. You cannot touch them. Nothing you do really affects them. Okay, so, there you have it. That is everything you need to know about placing tiles down in layer 4, which is the active layer. I will be covering down. I will be covering placing down tiles in other layers, such as layers three, five, and eight. But I'll be getting onto that in other videos. So for now, this is going to be it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you subscribe to this channel as well as the director's channel. See the links in the description, and uh, please do like this video as well if it helped you. Thanks very much, guys. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.